Absquatulate. A B S Q U A T U L A T E. That's correct. Who's next? The spelling bee is meant for kids. Rule number 24, the speller must not have passed beyond the 8th grade on or before February 1st. You can see there, I have not passed the 8th grade. Not ever. Okay, so this film really hit home for me. Uh-oh. Because I was kind of a big-time nerd back in the day. Really? And I'm curious, can you spell the word Chinook? Chinook. Mm -hmm. C-H-I-N-O-O-K? I actually have no idea. Uh. So that was the word that got kicked, got me kicked out of the spelling bee. Well, that's, that's a know? much tougher word than the one I, I lost on a word, um, answer. I forgot the W. That's you did not. much more embarrassing. That's rough. But yeah. now you know how to spell answer. I honestly spitefully don't know how to spell Chinook. I just decided to I think to I did it know. there because Chinook I think is a is a kind of a, a <laughs> boat or snowmobile or something. I just I can see it on the side of something. It has to do with ice fishing. Where yeah. you go? But yeah. I don't know how to spell it. Congratulations. Thank this you. film is hilarious. Thanks. I absolutely loved it and I'm just curious how great was it both starring and directing? Cause this is your big directorial debut. Mm. What was that like? It was uh, very rewarding and satisfying and stimulating. It's a huge workload. You know, as an actor, you spend a lot of time in your dressing room waiting for everyone to kind of make the movie. Mm -hmm. And then you come out, you know, about 15 minutes an hour and talk, mm -hmm. you know, say your lines. So, I mean, I don't want to belittle what an actor does. It, it's, it's kind of, it has its own challenges. But there's a lot of movie making that goes on uh, in between action and cut. Mm -hmm. um, or I should say after cut and before action. And I really wanted to be a part of that process. I'd, I'd been observing it for years and years and, and wanted to kind of have the privilege of overseeing all that. Right, so why this movie? What made you choose this script to, to start that? Um, the two big reasons were the, uh, its sense of humor was mm -hmm. similar to mine. I'm kind of, I got kind of a dark sense of humor and that it wasn't too big. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a realistic chance of, of being approved as the director for this thing because it was a, a budget that wasn't uh, irresponsibly large mm -hmm. for someone as a first-timer. That's very humble. I was going to say, has the ego kind of expanded now that it's been getting great reviews and I think audiences are really going to love it? Or are you just like... I hope so. No, I, I think, uh, you know, you, you've been at it as long as I have and been knocked down as many times. You, you, you learn to kind of... Um, uh, Take a, take a responsible ego and leave it at that, and don't let it get any higher than that. Hi, I'm Chaitanya Chopra. Was that English? My name is Chaitanya. Oh, congratulations. What's yours? No. What's your name? Spin it around. I'm going to the Golden Crow. Good for you. My pants are up in first class. Great. My dad says that economy class builds character. Amazing. I was in last year's tournament. I overheard you say you're going too. You're the grown up who's competing, huh? I heard about you. What was your winning word? I don't know. What was the word you spelled to win your regional? To get here? I don't fucking remember. Do you see my eyes closed? Mine was intelligentsia. Awesome. Come on, try. How could you forget? It's such a special word. It was autofellatio, okay? I've never heard of that word. Yeah. What's its origin? Loneliness. Leave it there. Now, okay, when I'm watching this, Guy is, he's pretty terrible. And you, the voiceover at the beginning tells us that this is a cathartic thing. Yeah. Which makes it almost okay. Yeah. But then the, what he actually does in the execution is like, I just, I just can't like him. Yeah. But I like him. Yeah. Do we like him because it's you and we just like Jason Bateman and you can get away with it? I don't know. I hope not. I, I, I you know, this guy, as, as I'm glad you noticed, because that was an important element, you know, at the, at the beginning, he's, he's basically apologizing for what you're about to see. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully through watching that character and living through what he's living through and, and some of the plot twists you learn, 
hopefully you start to empathize a little bit mm -hmm. with him and kind of root for him and maybe the rest of the people in the movie are crazy and he's the sane <laughs> one. I he's mean, I, I, I don't know, but it, that's kind of the ambition of the film and, and hopefully we get some of the people across that finish line. I think you absolutely did. So real yeah. quick, favorite bad word and why? Mm. <laughs> There's a lot of them. I, I really love them all. They're, okay. they're, they're very useful, but you just got to use them at the right time. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, thank you. I think thank people you. are going to love it. I hope so. Nice Thanks a lot. You. Nice to meet you, too.